Good afternoon, good morning, wherever you are. My name is Kevin Porman. I'm a developer of Advocate here at Salesforce. And today we're gonna to be doing all things chatter in Apex. Um, when I first started doing the chatter, the, excuse me, the Apex Recipes project, I was talking to my boss and he's like, you know, you gotta do one on chatter because I, I always have to look up what I have to do to post a chatter post. Uh, so today we're gonna to be working on it, finally, um, some chatter related work in Apex. And to do that, I've created a new branch in Apex Recipes. And again, if you're not familiar with Apex Recipes, you can find them by searching for Trailhead Apps, which will take you to our GitHub repository, where we've got all of our Trailhead Apps, and one of them down here is Apex Recipes. So this is what we'll be working on today. If you want to see the code for it, that's where it'll be. And uh, let's switch over and go into our code base. So let me switch screens here. And this is our, our editor here. We use Visual Studio Code. I'm going to go into my, um, into my force app main directory. And under classes, I'm going to create a new folder called chatter recipes. And I'm going to do the same thing under my tests. So under tests, I'll do click new folder chatter recipes like that okay now that we've got a folder created we're going to dive in we're just going to create a new class so class um, and hit uh, that i'm going to type in chatter recipes and we're put it in a custom directory that allows me to put it in my chatter recipes folder okay now um one of the things that we always do on Code Live is we immediately switch from with sharing to inherited sharing. Inherited sharing, we do that because uh, inherited sharing is safer. And so I'm going to give us a nice doc block here. This is going to demonstrate how to do things in Chatter. Demonstrate common use cases in Chatter. In, with, or for Chatter. There we go. And we've got our, our recipes there. I'm going to save that. The reason I'm saving it right now is I just want to make sure that everything's set up okay in my scratch org because in the past, I've had some issues with scratch orgs expiring or being in a funky state. And so I'm just making sure this all works. So push that over there, let it do its thing. While that's doing out there, let's talk about the kinds of things we might want to do in our chatter uh chatter recipes. So we obviously we want to uh, post a uh, message or make a pat make a chatter I'll put you make a chatter post. Make a chatter post. We also want to make a comment on a post. Uh, and we probably want to be able to then you know make a post uh, make a post with and we'll do uh, mention always nice to mention people uh, we'll do a file and because we're developers we're gonna do with code okay so that's sort of our roadmap for today and we'll do some testing too don't don't worry I haven't forgot about testing so let's do um, a first method here uh, somebody somebody wrote me the other day and said you know you're doing a whole lot of um, static methods and that's true so what we're gonna do is we're not going to do any static methods in our chatter recipes even though that would be sort of conceptually easy to follow with the way chatter recipes and the way these recipes all work we're gonna require people to create an instantiation of the chatter recipes to, to test this so let's do public um, uh, void yeah public void uh, make a post and for this, we're going to want to do uh, what the post string is, right? So we'll do what our, whatever our string is. So we'll do string, string post contents, and do this this way. And now we get into the, the chatter nature of chatter here, the liquidity of chatter, if you will. Uh, so the essence of it is it's all in this connect API. So if I do connect API, like that, you'll find that we've got all sorts of different things in here, all sorts of different things. And this is the, the Connect API is sort of the, the Apex namespace for all things related to Chatter. Now, why it's not Chatter, 
I don't know. But we're going to go with it. We're going to roll with it. Connect API. And I'm going to call this a feed element. And if you're wondering what a feed element is, that's a great question. A feed element is a post. It's a chatter post. Right? It's an element in the chatter feed. And so we're going to create a new feed element. And we're going to call this one new post. And we're going to set this equal to, and we're going to use the constructor format here. So we'll do connect API dot, um, now we're going to drive it, drop into a different one. We're going to do chatter feeds and we're going to say post feed element. Um, and yeah, post feed element like this. Now there's some options in there that a couple different constructors, but we're going to use this one and we're going to use, um, actually, we're not going to use this one. We're going to break this down. Uh, I've got an odd thing happening with my camera. People are telling me uh, that's what's going on with my camera. I'm looking at my Heather. I don't think there's anything odd going on with my camera. I think that's just my beard. Yeah. Anyway, um, so diving back into this, we're going to use post feed element and we're going to give it the three things that we need here. And so the first one is the network ID. And since we're not really using a community right now in Apex recipes, we're just going to do network dot get network ID and that get network ID that's going to be handled for us. It's going to get a default. We're, we're good to go with that. And um, then we're going to say our post contents or excuse me, our record. This is going to be our record ID. This is the the feed in which we're going to post to, and then we're going to have our um, our post contents, right? And so of those, we don't actually have the record ID. So let's go ahead and put that in as a parameter. So we'll do ID, uh, and we'll do record ID, comma. Okay, I'm going to save that, which should reformat it a little bit for us and scroll me over okay so this is our basic create the feed element right and then you know of course we're going to have to insert it okay so what we'll do is we'll do insert um new post like that and let's go ahead and just do some manual testing on this so the first thing i'm going to do is i'm going to open up my um my at uh, my uh what do call it my scratch org uh, open default org. Uh oh, it failed to push. What's going on? DML requires S object or S object list type. Huh. Let's do it. It, uh, it opened it up in the wrong browser window here. Let me do this and we'll drag this over here, make it bigger. Okay, here's our org. All right, so let's see here. Method does not exist or incorrect signature, po void post feed element, ID string from the type connector out of chatter feeds. You know, I, uh, does it want the record ID as a string? Okay. So let's do this. See if it lets us do that. Saving that. And the reason I opened up my scratch org is because I need to find an account. We're just gonna use, we're gonna go into, um, we'll go into service, that's fine. Cody with the heart. All right, we're gonna to go to accounts and pick one at random here. And the reason we're picking one at random is because I need this ID. And I'm just gonna copy that account ID. Now, if we look down here at our record page, this will be important here. We've got we've got nothing going on. No no feed. No nothing here. There's nothing in our chatter feed over here. All right, so in order, uh, did we still not post? Okay. Method does not exist or incorrect signature post feed element. It's not a void, it's returning. All right, let's use our good old fashioned autocomplete here and see if we figured out what Kevin did wrong. Connect 
API dot chatter feed chatter feeds dot post feed post feed element element and this one takes a feed element input and the feed element nope let's see this one takes the community ID the feed element and then the binary input nope and this one takes the subject ID and the feed element type and the string text okay so this is the one we want and it looks like what's happened is our documentation is a bit out of date um, because I'm reading this off the docs here and this is essentially the same thing except we need this feed element type so let's go over here and after our subject ID we'll do uh, connect API dot feed element type yep feed element type dot uh, feed item like that and we'll get rid of that line do that thing there okay we'll save that saving 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 whoop whoop okay um, we're still getting a little bit of a red squiggly it's making me nervous we're we gonna save are we gonna save maybe no okay TML requires S object or S object list. Do we not need to insert it? I could have sworn we needed to insert it. Now, I, I'll be honest with you, I don't do a lot with Chatter um, on, on my day-to-day -day stuff in terms of coding it. Like, I use it all the time in the UI. I don't do a lot of programmatic stuff with Chatter. So uh, this is, this is a, a reinforcing my learning experience as well. All right, so we've got this here. Let's see if this actually works. And the reason I grabbed that ID is so that we can actually call our work. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to say um, chatter recipes CR equals new chatter recipes that and we'll do CR dot uh, post. What did I call that? Make a post. And just copy that so I don't have to go look at it again. Boom, make a post. We're going to put in our record ID here, and I just copied, so I gotta go get that again. And I'm gonna put this here, and then my post contents are gonna be a string as well. And I'm gonna put in, uh, y'all know, oh, y'all know you can ask questions and heckle, right? Okay, and this is, there we go. So I'm gonna highlight this, hit Command Shift P, and then I'm gonna execute anonymous with currently selected text. I'm gonna clear out my buffer down here. And this says it finished just fine. And look what created, it called that method. Now the thing we wanna know is, not having deleted it, not having inserted it, this actually put something on our chatter feed. So we'll reload our chatter feed. Boop, boop. Oh, look at that. There it goes. You don't have to insert a chatter feed post as you create it, which is pretty exciting. Um, I like that. All right, so what we've done so far is we've posted to a chatter feed and we have uh, manually tested it. Now let's go ahead and get a little bit more familiar with the connect API by writing a unit test for this. So I'm gonna go here is to my chatter recipes class. I'm going to uh, hit command shift P and do apex class. I'm gonna do chatter recipes tests. And did I let me get that naming right? Yep, underscore tests. That's what I thought. All right, so we'll do create apex class, chatter recipes tests. We're going to put it in a custom directory. Now I'm going to go all the way down here to my force app test chatter recipes. 
Okay, now this one is at is test, and that doesn't need to be public or with sharing, so we'll just do private, and we'll get rid of this, and we'll do at is test static void, and we'll call this one um, test make a post. And uh, I always like to annotate these as to what they're going to be. So we're going to do make take make a post positive. Uh, now, for for those of you who are like, uh, let's see, if you're asking about the or if people are wondering about why I do this positive bit, um, when we look at, I'm going to turn off my sidebar here and put my tests on the right. Eh. Come on. Chatter recipes tests. There we go. So I can compare these two things side by side. Now I do positive whenever I'm going to have a test that I have good inputs into and I get expected results out. So this is sort of, uh, other people call it a happy path test, like given valid input, I get valid results. Uh, I like to do negative tests because I think negative tests are more important, but negative tests are all around when something goes wrong, did I get the right kind of exception? Have I thought about how I'm going to capture exceptions and handle things failing in a proper way? And there's not really anything to fail here, right? We don't, there's, this isn't going to, uh, th this isn't actually doing anything that's going to, we don't have any conditionals, we don't have any try catches. So we're just gonna write a positive for this one. And what we're gonna do is we're going to uh, create an account. So we're gonna say account, ct is equal to account. We're gonna cast it because we're gonna use, we're gonna spell it right. Account, uh, we're gonna do test factory.creates object and we'll do new account and I want this to be inserted and it's going to make me scroll all the way to the left oh, to the right all right true okay so that's going to give us an account drop it in the database that's great because we are going to need the account ID and then we're going to run test.start test and we'll set out before that we'll do chatter recipes CR is equal to chatter recipe new chatter recipes like that and you know what? we're gonna make that a little bit more because we're gonna be using chatter recipes throughout this entire thing so what I'm going to do is I'm going to come up here inside my class. I'm going to do uh, private static chatter recipes. CR is equal to new chatter recipes. And now we just have this class that we can use the entire time. We don't have to do that all the time. And uh, we can probably even make this a little bit more. We'll do at test setup. We'll call it make data and we'll put this here create that account for us because we're going to just test on account the entire time and uh, let's see here so we've got that now in our this we're going to have to do account ACCT is equal to select ID from account I can't apparently hit two C's today. From account, like that, uh, we'll do limit one. Okay, so there we go. We're gonna start test. Now what we can do is we can do CR dot make a post and we'll pa pass in ACCT dot ID and we'll do this one to be test contents like that. And we'll do test.stop test. Okay, and now what we need to do is um, we need to run this and how do we check to make sure that a chatter post has been created? That's gonna be a feed item, right? Let's, let's look at our objects for our org. So to do that, I'm just gonna open up the developer console because it's nice and quick and simple. 
Uh, somebody's got a question here. I see often that the sad path is not tested, but this does just as much for the declarative side also, and to me, sad path is not implemented. Yeah, this isn't, we'll have to work on implementing the sad path here. Let's um, let's figure out our test first, and then we can figure out what it might look like to see it fail and write a test for that. Um, so our under objects, I'm gonna go to, I'm looking at, see I've got a count feed. Let's open that up. So we got a parent ID, and I suspect that parent ID is going to be a reference to the account. Um, and let's see, title body and link URL. Let's try that. Let's try asserting off of account feed. So let's do um, account feed. And this is just a, this is just, I'll turn, well, here, I'll do it. I'll be consistent. I'll do list account feed, account feed is equal to select a title body from, put a space there, from account feed where parent ID is equal to acct.id that and we'll do just for grins and giggles we won't limit it actually because I made it a list all right so we're saving that made that all nice and pretty and then we'll come over here and we'll do system dot assert uh, assert equals and we'll say one because we're expecting one chatter post to be there. We'll do account feed.size. And then we'll do, and then our message will be expected to find one, uh, one chatter post associated with this account. Okay. I noticed that we didn't get any any issues, so that, that's good. I'm liking that. We'll save this and then we can just run this test and see what we got. In the meantime, invalid type account feed. Hmm, really? It's right there. Is this just, yeah, it's saved just fine. I think that's a issue with our, um, me not having pulled all the S object definitions. Let's see, while we're running our test, we'll look at our chat here. Um, question from Hector, why not? Uh, it's actually a little cut off. I can't read it. Um, moderator Sarah, could you copy that into our moderator chat? So, because I can't read it all, um, and can't fix that right now. Our test failed to run. Let's see what it says. First exception on row zero. First error required fields missing name name. I have to give a name to my account which is fair. We'll say name best name ever. We'll save that. And when that does, we'll rerun the test. Okay. Okay, that saved, so we'll rerun our test. I'm gonna clear out the block here, it'll be easier to read. Now while we do that, we can look at what are some things that could go wrong in our chatter make a post method. And the things that I think that might be wrong, might go wrong are uh, chatter is not on. Uh, bad ID, null contents. So those are the things we could write negative uh, events for. This one, here we go, this one, it failed again. Let's see why. Connect API methods are not supported in data siloed tests. Please use, what? What? 
Connect methods are not supported in data siloed tests. Okay, so this is saying we have to use at is test see all data equals true, which I'll be honest with you, kind of makes me sad inside. Uh, but let's do it. Is test see all data equals true. I feel like I need to do not use see all data equal true unless testing chatter. That there. And I feel better about this. Okay, uh, so we don't need to make that data. We will have accounts in, uh, well, well, we'll still make it. Um, and that's going to make that, uh, we can't make that because we won't have a way of grabbing it. We won't know which one was just created. And so what we'll do is we'll just say uh, from account limit one, It'll still give us an account ID, and that should work. So we'll save that. Uh, while we're saving that and, and running that, let's go ahead and think through how would we determine if chatter is enabled. I think it's enabled everywhere by default, so we'd have to be talking about a really old org. Um, but let's, okay, that, that saved, so let's go ahead and run this test. We'll go over here to ye old Googles and uh, Apex. Check if chatter is enabled. Looks like somebody else has a question on this too. Check in Apex if chatter is enabled for current org. Okay, and so they're doing what the global describe. Um, from winter, you can check status code required field missing. Interesting. See, they're inserting it though, so we don't we don't need to do that. For example, querying is not supported in feed post. Describe on the user object. Current status field exists. Oh, here, look at this. Oh, look at that. Okay. That's handy. All right. Let's try that over here. So what we'll, what we'll do is we'll say if connect API organization dot get settings dot features dot chatter so if we have chatter, then we can make this API call. And we'll put that over here and do that. Make this all formatted nicely. Okay, and then else uh, we will, we will, so this is a void method. Um, we don't have to do anything else. I can just wrap that there. Now this uh, ran, let's see what it came back with. When we passed. Okay, so see all data equals true. Makes me die a little on the inside, but we're good there. Um, and let's see here. For the failure scenario, is it also possible to access the executing user isn't the. Hmm, I'm not sure I understand that question, uh, Ashish. Um, and then SFNerd says removing the test data setup will be the problem and the wrong approach because when we are doing deployment, no records are present. Oh, that's a good point. So if we have no records present, then we're going to have to create that record. Uh, so let's go ahead and uh, we will. We will undo that change. Okay. Uh, so even if we, we're gonna make that data, even if we don't already have in there, that's fine. We should still get one because we're creating it. 
That's a great call out, SF Nerdy. Um, so let's uh, let's save that back there. Now we've wrapped this in a does the does the organization have chatter enabled? So we're going to rerun that test, make sure that passes, and that'll give us an option. Oh, it failed to push. What's going on? Test class cannot be automated with C all data equals true. Yep, those are mutually exclusive, aren't they? So if we have C all data equals true, we cannot use test setup methods. So I'm just gonna copy pasta that here into this. And then I don't need to do this at all because um, I will have that account. It'll make it even more bulletproof. All right. Saving, saving again. Now, because we've actually got one here where chatter is not on, we can override this, but we're going to have to override it in a creative way. Um, and I want to actually work on doing these other than, than writing that negative unit test. Um, so I'm going to leave that comment in there and we're just going to move on to the next one once our unit test passes. There we go. Close a little quick peek. And can you please explain for the newcomers what you are, what are you? Um, I unfortunately can't make out what that question is. Uh, we had a failure. Let's see what the failure is. First exception on row zero. Session cache is only in Okay, so this is a failure of our DML, um, our test factory. First exception in a row, first error, cache exception, session get for key account, session cache is only supported in data silo tests, platform cache delegate wrapper, and this is in our can the user. It's because the trigger is running. But failed cache session get for key account. So we have an issue where can the user is stopping us from inserting because we can't use the cache methods and okay so for those of you who are following along or joined us here a little late what's happening is we're writing some chatter recipes and we've discovered that the chatter recipe tests have to be run in cl data equals true mode but that also means that since we're not data siloed, we can't use platform session cache for that. Uh, so what we've done, is we've got a, an org problem where our code for um, can the user is actually utilizing platform cache when it's available. And if it's not available, it is uh, it can use have we haven't merged that yet okay so a couple weeks ago we did some work on platform can, cache and can the user and and wrote a little bit of code that helps us understand if platform cache is available had we merged that yet uh, we would be able to say if platform cache is not available or if it is a test setup uh, test it in a scenario then you should um, you should stop that uh, unfortunately our class code here is um, we've got this set up in such a way that I can't disable the can the user in the trigger. Um, can I disable the trigger? No. Well, this is a fun little how to do. Okay, so let's try this again. See all data is true. And I'm gonna happen if I move this to just this. No, I can't do that to the method. 
Well, maybe. Let's try it this way. Let's see if we can't work around this by doing that. Test setup. And dragging this down into test setup. And then we can do count equals select ID from got the capitalization back on backwards on that one from account limit one like that. Let's see, because see all data is limited to this method now. I'm not entirely sure this will work, but we'll, we'll we're going to test it. Um, I want to see if this this saves, and then if it will. It did not. Test class containing a test setup method cannot have any methods annotated with data. Okay. And if we do this as the class, I bet you we're going to be told again that we can't because it's see all data. So how do we write that? Make that account right now in a way that will allow us to deploy to a net new org where there are no accounts and still use see all data equals true. Yeah, test class cannot be annotated with. Test class cannot be annotated with? Are you sure about that computer? Okay, so what we've discovered is that if we try to create an account right now, the platform cache will break because of CL data. See, this is why CL data makes me sad because it complicates everything unnecessarily. So let's leave CL data true because we want to test our chatter stuff, but we're going to have to make this into a place where we know that we're, we're going to have a fragile org data set up because we are not creating this account there uh, because of the way the tests work. And I don't like that at all, but we're gonna keep keep trying that. Uh, so let's see, somebody from, somebody named Matthew says, is this a Windows or a Mac? It's definitely a Mac. And um, yeah, and okay. And let's see, go on through here. Um, do this. Oh, oh, okay. There we go. And move a window here. Um, moderator Sarah says, "What theme is that? This is my theme. This is the theme I created. It's called Cody's in Bed by Ten. Um, there's one called Cody Midnight, but I'm feeling a little old and creaky, and maybe right at my expiration date. So I decided to create one that more reflects the time I go to bed. So Cody's in bed by 10. That's my theme. Uh, feel free to to find it, install it, like it, leave a review on uh, on the app on the app market the extensions marketplace for Visual Studio Code. Um, all right, I'm going to run this test one more time, and then we're just going to move on because testing this is actually turning out to be a much bigger problem than I assumed. Uh, SF Nerdy raised a great question when he pointed out that we're going to have to to work with that. Um, okay, did that pass? Yes, that passed. Okay, so we know that if we have an account in the org, we can run this test and it'll pass. Creating an org right now because of our the way we've set up platform cache, we can't test this right now, and that's that's a, a chicken and the egg problem that we're going to have to solve once we get the platform cache um, updates merged into the code base. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to come back here and I'm going to leave a great big old to do message, and uh, let's go back here. Uh, tests making a chatter post at to do and I just found this great workflow extension for github where it'll go through all your code and find where you've said to do and then it'll create an issue for you um, so refactor to create an account when platform cache work is merged 
and we can disable the use of platform cache in in uh, can the user during testing. All right. Well, that was fun. Let's try that again. So the next thing we want to try to do is make a post or make a comment on a post. And so to do that, I'm going to come down here. We're going to create a new method. We'll do public void. Comment on post. Uh, we'll do string post ID and we'll do string comment like that. Now I'm going to look at my notes here a little bit to make sure I'm not going crazy here with this. So we're going to post a comment on a post. Um, so we'll open this and yeah, it's just a, it's a very similar, very, very similar code to, to what we're doing here. Um, we'll go ahead and wrap this in uh, if connect API dot organization that gets that. Yeah, okay, so there we go. I love tab nine, came back there. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna do connect API dot comment. And we'll call this comment is equal to connect API dot comment dot post comment. I got too many dots there. Post comment to feed. Yep, feed element. And then we can do, it says null. I wonder what, what that's about. I wonder why it's not auto comment, post comment. Hmm, that's not what the docs say. Post comment to feed element. And it says to you say null here. I wonder what that null is. So what we'll do is um, this is going to be our our post ID, and what we'll do is we'll do comments. Okay. Now, if you're going, that's really similar to the way we created a post element. You're right, it is. And at least there's some consistency in that API there. I wonder what this null is. And unfortunately, uh, it says community ID in the docs, but I'm not entirely sure why we're not using. I don't know why we're not using network dot get network network ID. Uh, let's see, it failed. Let's see why it doesn't like that. Method does not exist or post comment to feed element. That is null string string. That's literally what they have there. So let's uh, let's look at our documentation. And what we'll do is we'll take this method and we'll copy exactly what they put there, post comment to feed element. That's exactly what it, they've got there in the documentation. We'll see what's going on there. While that saves, let's look at the um, SF nerdy. Yep, okay. Um, pushing, pushing, pushing. Failed to run. Method does not exist or incorrect signature void post comment to feed element. Okay. So we got a chatter feed class and we're going to, I'm looking at the docs here, just so that everyone can follow along at home. Let me load them up in ye old Chrome window. Okay, chatter feed class. And I'm going to go scroll down. I'm looking for these are getters, getters, getters. Okay, so we've got post comment to feed element. And if I go down here, there it is. I wonder if that thing actually does need to be network.get network ID. So what we're going to do is we're going to replace that there. 
Yeah. See if that works. A little bit of a chair dance while we're going on, while we're saving. Maybe, 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 maybe. No! Okay. Okay. Void, string, string, string. Okay, so that is not right, but this wants community ID, feed element ID, and text. Use the ID for community internal or null type of string. So let's, if it doesn't want network ID, uh, let's try internal. C-O-M-M-E-N-T, okay, there's that. Okay, that's correct. Now that's just straight up silly why it's not working. Nope. Post comment to feed element. That it's I'm not crazy. Post comment to feed element. And this is the chatter feeds. Okay, let's scroll up to the top of this. Connect API. And we're gonna do post. Posted, posted. Get like, nope. Really, nope. Post comment to feed element. That's if we want to file. Subject if element. Uh, post feed element. We're looking for post comment, which is right there. And public static connect API comment. Okay, so connect API comment, yep. Comment equals connect API comment dot post comment to feed element. And it does not like that. String, string, string. But if we look at the documentation here, Signature, community ID is string, the feed element ID is string, and the text is string. Which is, that's, okay. So the documentation, I mean, we have literally almost copied and pasted this entire thing. Let's just do that for grins and giggles, okay. And let's see. Oh, the it's a different namespace. That's interesting. Is that what it is? Let's try that. Let's see who's got uh, more questions here. When dealing with Connect API, if data silo test is not allowed, how do we pre-populate the data? Let's say the org we're developing is fresh and is on data. Yeah, that's a that's the great question. The one we were trying to figure out. What you could do is you could just create the the data you need in your test. You can't use a test setup method, but you could still create the data you need in your individual test, or extrapolate it out to a method and then call that method every test. Um, class, every te test method. But because of the way we've pre-configured our security with can the user and our session cache, we can't use session cache in a non-data siloed environment. Um, so that's an issue. We're going to have to to make sure that we code uh, a way around that. Um, we've already started that work in the, in the dynamic apex uh work we did last week but then it hasn't been merged yet so i'm, I'm like i said i left a big big uh, comment there we still fail to push duplicate variable comment oh yeah <laughs> new comment there we go silly kevin trying to reuse variables see other questions you got going on today we got 11 minutes left here why not set chatter recipes into setup as well What's the difference for getting that outside? Hector, I'm not entirely sure what you mean, uh, but if you want to clarify your question, I can try and answer it here. And um, let's see, chatter recipes into setup as well. I'm not sure. 
Sorry. Um, okay, so we have finally saved that. That is how we create a basic comment. So what we're going to do here is I'm going to duplicate this test and we're going to write a test that allows us to see things, uh, see that this works. So we're going to create our um, feed and then we're going to uh, post item. And what we're going to do is we're going to call that back again with a comment. So what we'll do is we'll say CR dot um, comment on post and we need to get that post ID. How do we get that post ID? I believe it's right here in this account feed. Yep, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna do account feed first record dot ID and we'll comment with, hey look, it's a, a comment. Woot. Okay, and then what we'll do is, let's look at our objects again, because I think that's just gonna show up in the account feed again. But if we, let's look and see what we've got in terms of other objects that this might be. So just the account feed there. And if I look for comments, nothing shows up. So I suspect what's happening is even though we're create, creating this off the chatter feeds object, it's going to still be stored in the table account feed. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to copy this again. Uh, I'm going to redo this whole thing. Boop, boop. And account feed with comment. Account feed with comment. And this is going to be two, find one chatter post and one comment. Okay, we'll save that here. Spent a lot of the time saving here, you know, pushing our code around. Come on. Failed to push. Oh, that's right. I didn't change the name of the method. Make a comment on a post. There we go. It would help if I caught those beforehand. Uh, what code template are you are you using? Code template. Uh, I'm guessing you probably mean the theme, the look of this, and that, that look is uh, one called. Um, it's called. Uh, Cody's in bed by 10. This test. Um, and what I'll do is when this saves, I will load the Cody. In, I will load that here in the extensions while this is saving. I'll open up. I'm just going to search for Cody. And you'll see that there's a few in here. Cody's in bed by 10. And this is the theme. You can install it right there mine's already installed but you can see how how it looks um, I'm a big fan of it it's very accessible uh, I'm a big fan I should tell you I'm a big fan of it because I made it uh, so this is kind of like accessibility plus what Kevin thinks is pretty uh, so we've saved that let's run our test here run that test and let's see what are we gonna get I think it's gonna pass Failed, failed, okay. Failed to find one chatter post and one comment, expected to actual one. Okay, so comments are stored somewhere else. Let's look at our objects and see where that might be. So I'm gonna do feed, feed comment. I bet you that's it. Uh, let's open feed comment. And so we can see feed item ID, there we go, okay. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to come down here and account feed with comment is going to be from comment feed. Uh, no, it's feed comment. Okay, and my... Uh, ba -ba. I don't... Mm, where's the text? 
parent ID, feed item ID. Okay, let's. We're just gonna assert the that's feed comment, and where parent ID is not equal to account ID, it's going to be account feed zero dot ID, and yeah okay so that's that and then we're going to you just change that so that should work oh this is going to fail because that is the wrong type now we'll save it uh somebody's asking me what distro do i use uh so i'm running mac os here uh i also am a big fan of ubuntu um, i've got a couple of ubuntu vms lying around and um, debian I have a Debian server at home here. What's the difference between using test method and at is test? Um, so the difference between doing, saying something is at is test, like we're doing here, and then saying test method is largely uh, age of the code thing. It used to be you'd say static test method, uh, static void test method. Um, now we do at is test. We do that is test primarily because that's the annotation, the flag that our test runner is looking for. So the uh, little beaker looking icon here on the left, if we open that up, this lists all the tests in the org, every test that is flagged with a at is test annotation. And so that's why I use it so that it shows up here because then I can just come in here and click and say, oh, look, here's my can the user test, here's my chatter recipes test. I'm just gonna go ahead and run that. There we go. I uh, find that very easy to do, especially when we're running lots of tests. Um, but this one failed. Let's see why. Failed. Chatter post in one. Expected to. Oh, I did not change the number here. So let's do that. Okay, so when I change it to feed comment, since it's a different object, I expect one feed comment. We'll save that. And um, let's see here. Okay. Running the test, running the, t oh no, now we're pushing, sorry. No such column title on feed comment. Yeah, you're right. Uh, we were wondering about that. I'm just gonna do ID. Cause all I'm right now doing for is asserting that there's a comment. I'm looking for the size, not the number, or the number of them, not the content of it. And it appears that in our hour we've learned a lot about testing, especially when we get into the junction of non-siloed tests with test at is data equals tr uh, see all data equals true, uh, which you shouldn't do unless you have to. Uh, but we've also uh, learned a bit about posting comments and feeds. I'm going to try and run this one last time, but we are rapidly running out of time. Uh, we've got two minutes left here. Let's see if we have any other questions. I'm going to scroll up here. Uh, ba -ba. Try Opticon says he likes tab nine. He or she likes tab nine. I'm a big fan of it too. Oh no, failed to run. What's going on? Expected one actual zero. Well, When we looked at this, did we see, so I'm gonna try asterisk comment. So we've got feed comment, case comment, idea comment. It's gotta be feed comment. Which means that the f I'm doing parent ID I am doing parent ID. Okay, it's, it's got to be feed item ID. There we go. Get the data right. Let's see if anybody else is uh, asking questions while we save here. All right, now let's try this. Run up the wire. Less than 60 seconds to go. Can the test pass? Can the test pass? Maybe. Maybe. The suspense is killing me. I need like some great suspenseful epic music. There it goes. It passed. The crowd goes wild. The unit tests pass. I love it. Okay. 
Yep, there we go, pass. Okay, so we've figured out how to uh, create a comment, create a post. We didn't get around to posting with mentions, but I'm gonna fill those in afterwards. If you're wondering like, why didn't you merge in the dynamic Apex stuff with the ability to turn off the, the um, the uh the caching that's because i haven't quite finished it yet so i'll go in and finish that as what well, this as well and we'll get that pushed until then thank you all for joining me i appreciate it have a great afternoon or a great morning depending on where you're at and i'll see you in 48